भारत और सेंट्रल एशिया देशों के डिप्लोमेटिक संबंधों ने तीस सार्थक वर्ष पूरे कर लिए हैं पिछले तीन दशकों में हमारे सहयोग ने कई सफलताएं हासिल की हैं और अब इस महत्वपूर्ण पड़ाव पर हमें आने वाले सालों के लिए एक महत्वाकांक्षी विजन परिभाषित करना चाहिए ऐसा विजन जो बदलते विश्व में हमारे लोगों की विशेषकर युवा पीढ़ी की आकांक्षाओं को पूरा कर सके एक्सलेंसीज द्विपक्षीय स्तर पर भारत के आप सभी सेंट्रल एशिया देशों के साथ घनिष्ठ संबंध है अफगानिस्तान एक्सलेंसीज कजकिस्तान भारत की एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण पार्टनर बन गया है मैं कजाकिस्तान में हाल में हुई जान माल की हानि के लिए संवेदना प्रकट करता हूं उज्बेकिस्तान के साथ हमारे बढ़ते सहयोग में हमारी राज्य सरकारें एक भी एक्टिव भागीदार हैं इनमें मेरा होम स्टेट गुजरात भी शामिल है किर्गिस्तान के साथ हमारी शिक्षा और हाई एल्टीट्यूड रिसर्च के क्षेत्र में सक्रिय भागीदारी है हजारों भारतीय छात्र वहां पढ़ रहे हैं ताजिकिस्तान के साथ हमारा सुरक्षा के क्षेत्र में पुराना सहयोग है और हम इसे निरंतर और अधिक सुदृढ़ कर रहे हैं तुर्कमेनिस्तान रीजनल कनेक्टिविटी के क्षेत्र में भारतीय विजन का एक महत्वपूर्ण अंग है जो असगाबाद एग्रीमेंट में हमारी भागीदारी से स्पष्ट है एक्सलेंसीज क्षेत्रीय सुरक्षा के लिए हम सभी की चिंताएं और उद्देश्य एक समान है अफगानिस्तान के घटनाक्रम से हम सभी चिंतित हैं इस संदर्भ में भी हमारा आपसी सहयोग क्षेत्रीय सुरक्षा और स्थिरता के लिए और महत्वपूर्ण हो गया है एक्सलेंसी आज की समिट के तीन प्रमुख उद्देश्य हैं। पहला यह स्पष्ट करना कि भारत और सेंट्रल एशिया का आपसी सहयोग क्षेत्रीय सुरक्षा और समृद्धि के लिए अनिवार्य है भारत की तरफ से मैं यह स्पष्ट करना चाहूंगा कि सेंट्रल एशिया इज सेंट्रल टू इंडिया विजन ऑफ एन इंटीग्रेटेड एंड स्टेबल एक्सटेडेड नेबरहुड दूसरा उद्देश्य हमारे सहयोग को एक प्रभावी स्ट्रक्चर देना है इससे विभिन्न स्तरों पर और विभिन्न स्टेक होल्डर्स के बीच रेगुलर इंटरेक्शन का एक ढांचा स्थापित होगा और तीसरा उद्देश्य हमारे सहयोग के लिए एक महत्वाकांक्षी रोडमैप बनाना है इसके माध्यम से हम अगले तीन सालों में रीजनल कनेक्टिविटी और कोऑपरेशन के लिए एक इंटीग्रेटेड अप्रोच अपना सकेंगे एक्सलेंसी मैं एक बार फिर इंडिया सेंट्रल एशिया शिखर सम्मेलन की प्रथम बैठक में आपका हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं अब मैं कजाकिस्तान के राष्ट्रपति जी को उनके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूं Dear colleagues, I would like to express my deep gratitude to the Prime Minister of India, 
distinguished Mr. Narendra Modi for such useful and relevant initiative of conveying the summit of leaders of Central Asia and India. Availing myself of this opportunity, I'd like to congratulate you, Mr. Prime Minister, and the entire nation of India with the recent Day of the Republic. In the last three quarters of the century of sovereign development, your country, being the embodiment of ancient and unique civilization, has achieved tremendous successes in the economic development. It is quite symbolic that this summit is held in the 30th anniversary of establishment dip uh, diplomatic relations between the countries of Central Asia and India. Throughout these years, we have developed a constructive political dialogue and con continuously expand multidimensional economic and humanitarian ties. Our vast Asian region possesses colossal resources and great intellectual capacity. Here lies the most important transport corridors and rapidly developing markets. The role of Central Asia in the world economy has increased significantly. It is becoming the new global center for attracting investment and capital. This provides great prospects for the implementation of good opportunities for the mutually beneficial cooperation between our countries. And most of all, it concerns the trade. In this context, trade turnover of the Central Asian countries in India in 2020 reached 3 billion US dollars. And the share of Kazakhstan amounted to 81%. However, the current indicators do not correspond to our unified economic potential. In my view, the work of such uh, dialogue platforms, such as Central Asian India Summit bears a very uh, great practical uh, benefit for the gradual development of our countries as well as the development of efficient responses to the new threats and risks. In this regard, I am confident that this unique format of predictive exchange of views will contribute to bringing our cooperation to cooperation of, between our countries to the qualitatively new level. Thank you everyone for your attention. Dhanavad Rashpati Ji, now I want to invite the Prime Minister to the opening remarks. Opening remarks, please. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Distinguished Heads of Central Asian States, allow me to sincerely greet, greet you all of you and express appreciation to the Distinguished Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi, for this initiative and invitation to the first India-Central Asia Summit. Yesterday, India marked the 73rd anniversary of the Republic Day. In this connection, on behalf of the people of the Kyrgyz Republic and myself, allow me to cordially congratulate the people of India and you, dear Mr. Prime Minister, on the Republic Day. I wish you all health, well-being and further success on the way of building a prosperous state. Dear colleagues, this year the Central Asian states and India marked the 30th anniversary of establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations. Over those years, owing to the mutual efforts, our countries have built friendly relations, established strategic partnership and developed cooperation in political, economic, cultural and humanitarian spheres. And in this context, the Kyrgyz Republic supports the initiative of the Indian side to hold an India-Central Asia dialogue at the level of heads of states in this anniversary year. And I believe it will contribute to the further development of mutual and fruitful regional cooperation. Our dialogue is a unique opportunity for a candid and open exchange of views 
on the status and prospects of interregional cooperation. Dear colleagues, uh, there is a deep political understanding between the Kyrgyz Republic and India, which allows us to develop fruitful cooperation based on traditional friendship and mutual trust. Through our joint efforts, we have built mutually beneficial strategic partnerships Гуманитарной धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति जी अब मैं तजिकिस्तान के राष्ट्रपति जी को उनके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूं एक्सेलेंसी प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी डियर कोलीग्स एट द आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वे माय ग्रेटिट्यूड टू इंडिया for convening our first meeting of India Central Asia Summit. It is noteworthy that our meeting is taking place in a significant year for the Republic of India, the 75th anniversary of its independence. May I offer my congratulations to you, Mr. Prime Minister, on the occasion of this anniversary and wish further prosperity and progress to the people of India. The countries of Central Asia and India are connected by historical traditions of good relations and a mutual respect, the roots of which go back to the myths of time. It is gratifying that these unique traditions continue to serve today as a reliable foundation for the dynamic development of friendship and cooperation between our countries. This year we celebrate the 30th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations with India. The achievements we made during these years vividly demonstrate the continuous intention of the parties towards the comprehensive deepening of our interstate ties in the areas of mutual interests. At the same time, the current realities require us to make qualitatively new effective resolutions and additional joint efforts to further promote this process in the long-run perspective. In this regard, we attach an utmost importance to the growing interactions within the format of India-Central Asia. I am convinced that the today's summit will decently contribute to further strengthening of our multifaceted partnerships. I hope that its outcomes will serve as a driver to upgrade the India-Central Asia interactions to a new level of development and facilitate explore its great creative potential. I wish all of us fruitful deliberations. Thank you. Dhanyavad Rashtrapati Ji, ab main Turkmenistan ke Rashtrapati Ji ko उनके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूं ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स ऑनरेबल मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया डियर मिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल एशियन कंट्रीज फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड माय ग्रैटिट्यूड टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया Uh, His Excellency Mr. Narendra Modi for his invitation to participate in the first Central Asia India Summit. This, is, this year is a momentous 
for the Central Asian countries and India. We established diplomatic relations between our countries 30 years ago. The centuries old ties between our people have begun a new epoch in its development. We have started together developing broad political, trade, economic, cultural, humanitarian interactions. Over the years, a solid legal basis for cooperation has been developed. Effective mechanisms for consultations and contacts in various fields have begun have been created and the basic principles for Central Asian countries and India to build their interaction on the global arena have been determined. Uh, 2022 is also a significant year as India marks the 75th anniversary of its independence. India has made a glorious path equal to centuries during this short period. It has restored national statehood in its modern form, created uh, its socio-economic development model, and accumulated enormous positive international experience. India is a close friend important, and important partner for Turkmenistan. India was among the first states to recognize Turkmenistan's independence. We express deep respect for the constructive and balanced policy that distinguishes India in global processes and its significant positive role in the world. In turn, we feel that India and its leadership have the desire and are ready for cooperation. They respect the internal development path chosen by Turkmenistan and its neutral foreign policy. Turkmen Indian collaboration, collaboration develops on the spirit of openness, equality, trust, and mutual benefit. I firmly believe this future of bilateral ties meet, meets the fundamental interests of the people of the two countries. Distinguished colleagues, the first Central Asia India Summit is taking place amid complex conditions. The threat of a pandemic and others have added to the overall international instability. Today, it is more important to consolidate the efforts of our states in ensuring peace, security and cooperation, establishing channels of for constructive communication and a dialogue as a guarantee for peace and development. Uh, I'm sure that our countries are seizing these opportunities provided by the format of today's meeting to achieve this goal. I congratulate the leaders of on the 30th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations and the first Central Asia Summit. In the summit, I wish you to have effective and fruitful discussions. Thank you for your kind attention. Dhanyabad Rashtrapati ji, ab main Uzbekistan ke Rashtrapati ji ko unke opening remarks ke liye amantrit karta hu. Distinguished Mr. Nanendra Modi, dear colleagues. I sincerely welcome all the participants of the first India-Central Asia Summit. I am grateful to you, Mr. Prime Minister Modi, for taking the initiative to hold this landmark meeting aimed at strengthening the multifaceted relations between our countries based on strong friendship, mutual respect, and trust. I join the warm words and wishes of all my colleagues to the Indian people on the occasion of the Day of the Republic of India. I would like also to express my sincere congratulations to you on the forthcoming 75th anniversary of the independence of your country. 
Today, India is a modern, dynamically developing state with great international authority and growing economic influence in the world. I would particularly like to emphasize that India is a reliable strategic partner for us. The Uzbek-Indian ties have deep historic roots. For millennia, our people have been engaged in intensive humanitarian exchanges and trade relations. This process contributed to a mutual enrichment of cultures, traditions and spiritual values. Such ancient cities as Tashkent and Delhi, Samarkand and Agra, Bukhara and Hyderabad are part of a unique heritage and left a big mark on our common history. Building on this heritage, Uzbekistan is strongly committed to further developing the strategic partnership and practical interaction in the Indian Central Asia format. I am confident that today we shall be able to develop a new agenda for our multilateral relations and define specific areas for productive cooperation for a long-term perspective. Thank you for your attention. धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति जी सभी देशों के ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के बाद हमारा ओपन सेशन अब समाप्त होता है मैं मीडिया के सभी साथियों को धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं उनके जाने के बाद हम आगे का सेशन प्रारंभ करेंगे